Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Now, it has indeed been a while since we did any cryptic crosswords, so I'm going to have a go at today's independent cryptic crossword. But first, some news from the world of cryptic crosswords. The Times crossword has announced its championship this year, finally. Um, it's going to be happening on December the 7th at the Times offices. Um, and that's good news because it's something I like taking part in. Won it a few times and trying to go and regain it this year. Um, there have been a few changes. Anybody can qualify if you just write in, I think. Um, it may be past the deadline to do that now. I'm not absolutely sure. Certainly worth looking into if you're interested. Um, but secondly, there's going to be a qualifying round on the day and then a sort of um, deciding round of three puzzles from which um, some prizes will be awarded to people who finished in various bands in the earlier rounds but the top three competitors overall will then go on to a one puzzle head-to-head -head on the stage shootout and I'm not absolutely sure whether that's going to be on whiteboards like the American crossword puzzle tournament or on desks like a more normal um, English tournament but we shall see and looking forward to seeing how that plays out and trying to get into that final myself if I can along with a few a couple of hundred other people who want to so we'll see how that goes but for now I'm just going to have a look at today's independent crossword and see how we get how we get on I mean so one across and four down that's something that the independent does that the times doesn't is kind of mix the answers thick necked type of stereotypical Englishman John Terry only more so the stereotypical Englishman is making me think John Bull. John Terry, for anybody who doesn't know, is a uh, a footballer, a very rugged defender who's played for England for a number of years recently. Don't know what they, what we're looking for there. Let's have a look at two down. Guide drug seller quietly away. So a drug seller can be a pusher. And if you take quietly P for piano off that, oh, it's not working. I don't know how this software works. Independent, I don't understand that. Anyway, right, two down is usher if you take P from pusher, and that an usher is a guide. Um, so, 11 across with an R, second letter of six. Wife of former president tours European nation. Um, I actually need to know the wife of a former American president for that. I don't know what it is. European can be the letter E. Greece would fit, but I don't see why. Let's have a look at nine cross. Surreal Greek humour beginning to upset departing tyrannical regime. Um... The Greek humours, it's things like bile and phlegm, but I don't know the answer there. Let's have a look at three down. Hyde, anticipating Spooner asking, what time do you call this? Lion weight means hide. And I suppose if Spooner asked you why in late, that would be the equivalent of him saying, what time do you call this? So John Bull does look relevant. Bull Terrier? Okay, stereotypical Englishman John is Bull. And then Terry only more so is kind of a pun, I think, um, on... Terry could be an adjective, terrier would be its comparative. And so a thick-necked type is the definition, which is a bull terrier. It's quite funny, but a bit strange. Surreal Greek humour beginning to upset departing tyrannical regime. Chief or thief or three would fit at the beginning of that. Uh, Eleven looks like Brunei. Yes, Carla Bruni was married to the French president. Uh, Sarkozy, I think. 
16 across, choosing again. Looks like re-election, which is very, um, yeah, reflection with E for Earl replacing F for female, and that gives us re-election um, on a day when a general election was announced here, or the day after. Five down, Charlie, that can be the letter C as well, knocks out 26. We haven't solved that one yet in puffed up food fight. That needs information from other clues that we haven't got. Let's have a look at four. Check whether that is right, son. They swear it is so. That is can be I.E. Right is R. Son is S. Testifiers. They swear something is so. And test if. And then id est. R and S is how that works. Charlie knocks out 26 in puffed up food. So that could be souffle is puffed up food. And if C replaced one of the letters in that, you get scuffle. So 26 must be some form of O. It must gong found in limousine Oscar. Um, can be the letter O in the international alphabet. And why a limousine? Because it's an outsize car, OS car. Um, six down. Warm enough to navigate fierce English rips. So an anagram of fierce and E for English. There's an awful lot of one word, abbre one letter abbreviations in this puzzle. I mean, we've had them time and again so far. Anagram of fierce E is ice free, which you could define as for some C's as warm enough to navigate. Perhaps Murdoch and Heaney primarily were this. Okay, Murdoch is Iris. Heaney primarily can be the letter H. And Seamus Heaney, at least, is Irish. Was Iris Murdoch Irish? Is she Irish? I don't know. Um, I didn't think so, but it could be. Surreal, it, it may not matter for the clue, in fact. Surreal, what is this word? I mean, I was hoping to do it from just the letters. Five, five. Surreal Greek humour beginning to upset. So it could be an anagram of surreal G-R-H. I think that's quite likely. Beginning, oh, so... No, I know what it is. Surreal is the anagram indicator. And it's an anagram of Greek humour without the letter U, which is the beginning to the word upset. And the tyrannical regime in this case is the Khmer Rouge of Cambodia. That's, you're not, when you see something H, something E, you're not expecting a K at the start. That's pretty difficult. One across four down, which was Bull Terrier, is distant object. So that's a far object. Oh, farthing. Why is a bull terrier a farthing? No, it's not one and four down. Oh my goodness. Okay, that's quite clever. What's going on there is it's a quarter of an old penny is a farthing. But what the compiler's done to disguise that definition of 1 slash 4D, a quarter of a penny, is he's created a phrase at 1 across and 4 down. He's actually selected a grid where 1 could only be across, 4 could be across or down, and he could fit a phrase in at 1 and 4 down just to disguise the definition for farthing. That's really quite extraordinary. Well done, Eccles. That's that's very clever. Um, ten across. One of and the, sorry, the word play there was far thing, distant object. What a clue! What a I mean, a crossword based around that whole clue in a way. I swear. I mean, the grid has definitely been selected just to disguise one slash four D. Ten across. One of fifty women entertained by this clue. Well, I was entertained by the last clue. One of 50 women entertained by would often indicate a hidden, but 
the four letters hidden in this clue, which begin with I, are ISCL, and I'm not sure how that could be one of 15 women, told the authorities that sang, sort of um, informed, about liberal, which is L, another one letter abbreviation, and slang is speech informally. So one of 50 women entertained by this clue, one of 50, it makes it a state. Oh my goodness, he's done it again. So women is the letter W, yet another single letter abbreviation. But W in this clue is entertained by IOA. Now, how is that this clue? Well, this is 10 across, which looks like IOA. Extraordinary. I mean, again, 10 across in this grid. Has he deliberately chosen that to be... A four-letter word, so he could put Iowa in. Amazing. I mean, the really remarkable use of the grid here. 14. Military commander is horrified losing good man. Well, crossworders know that Aga from the old Turkish military, and that's aghast without ST, which can be a saint or a good man. Old American quits. Lovely stuff. Looks like a fabric gauze. No, I can't see why. I mean, it might be. 13 down. Bread extremely chewy in French city. No. Oh. Well, that has to be Nancy. So I'm maybe 16 across was re-electing and reflecting, choosing again. Yeah, I mean, it can work just as well for both answers, which isn't great, but... Um, Never mind, at least we can work out that this is Nancy. Why is 13 down Nancy? The bread is Nan, the Indian bread. Extremely chewy is the extreme letters of chewy. If you take the word chewy and look at it extremely, only at its extremes, you get C and Y. And Nancy is a French city. Stone attached to axes. Well, not axes, but axes. The two axes of the graph are Y and X. So on YX gives you the stone onyx. Now, 18 across, I am chattier performing sums really looks like an anagram of I am chattier with performing as the indicator of the anagram. And therefore, the definition is sums with question mark, which could give us arithmetic as an answer. Back to 15 down, which was the lovely stuff. Oh, oh gorgeous. So old American, O-U-S, quits lovely, gorgeous, and leaves us with gorge, oops, which means to stuff. Now, three seven-letter answers, and we've got the first letter, 19 down. Mock butler, whimsically in conversation. Man something, can't see. 20 down. Time to struggle with sheds supporting structure. Vi can be struggle, T can be time. Don't see that one. 21 down. Oh, a trellis. Or a... I don't know. 21. Oh, there's another supporting structure. I can't think of it. 21 down. Most senior ministers throw out probes about alien visitor cabinet and an alien visitor can be the an et i can't quite see why that would be cabinet 23 condemn piece of prose um verse not verse no, I can't see that. Well, look at 25 across. There's that 1 slash 4D type of either a quarter of a penny or a bull terrier is godsend getting across street. Not sure I know any types of bull terrier. Could it be a type of a farthing? Or is there some other meaning of 1, one slash 4D quarter of a day? I don't know. don't know what's going on there. Look forward to finding that one out. 28 across with a C near the end. Instruction in well-regulated disco for audience. Dance, some sort of dance, but 
something that sounds like tidy dance. I'm not really getting far with this now at the bottom. 17. Oh, I haven't looked at this. Religion, it's endless for one country's leader. Well, Taoiseach, the Irish leader, would fit. Tao is a religion. It's endless for one. I think that's somehow... It's endless is I... And each must work there somehow. One's each. Not sure quite how it's endless can give is, but I'm sure that's going to be right. So type of bull terrier is godsend. So this is Boone around ST is Boston. I think there is a Boston terrier. I didn't know it was a type of bull terrier, but I'm certainly prepared to believe it. So not quite so inventive there, but still... Lovely to be referring back to the Bull Terrier. 30 down, two brothers together protect Rosemary Paps. Well, Rosemary Paps gives us herb, but how does the word play work? Well, you have to write brother next to brother, and brother, brother includes the letter string H-E-R-B. So 21 down does look like cabinet. I'm trying to work out why. Most senior ministers, that's a decent definition. Throw out probes, cabin about alien visitor. I'm sure the alien visitor is ET. About could be in, but I don't know why cab or cabin is throw out probes. Oh, bin. Okay, to bin something is to throw out, and that is probing or going into CA for circa and ET for alien visitor. Right, 29. Resolution of dispute in village. Um, I think that's actually just a double definition, which is quite unusual in a ten-letter word, but I think it's settlement, which can be the resolution of a dispute, or it can mean a village. Um, and then 19 down. Let's go back to that. This is the mock butler whimsically in conversation. Red butler? I don't know. I think it man something seems likely. Don't know the sh supporting structure still. Time to struggle with sheds. No. 23 down. Keeps ignoring piece of tatty clothing. So keeps ignoring maybe the letter T for piece of tatty. Stands. No, that would make clothing. Sands. 24. Treaters followed on the radio. Tracked can be a treatise. A piece of written work about something specific. And it sounds like the word tracked. So on the radio, if you said tracked, meaning followed, it would sound exactly like tracked. Firm agreement in Moscow. So firm is co for company. Agreement in Moscow is da, the Russian for yes. And coda is a concluding passage. Now, maybe the attendance is the audience. Instruction in well attendance. I can't see why still. Let's go back to 23 down. Keeps sticks. Ignoring T would be six. That doesn't seem likely either. Keeps. Okay, let's try 28 across. Condemn piece of prose. To condemn is to... I don't know. There's a, some tough clues here. Mock Butler whimsically in conversation. Time to struggle with Shed's supporting structure. Instruction in well-regulated disco for audience. I'm certain that ends in dance. I'm gonna fill it in. Um, 
but the beginning of it, how could I think the definition therefore must surely be well, it could be audience or instruction if it was attendance at ten dance. I suppose that would be an instruction at a very orderly disco. Almost unimaginably orderly disco. 20 down, time to struggle, so wrestle, but with has been shed. Wow. With is W. That's been shed from the word wrestle, leaving you wrestle after T for time, and that gives us trestle, a supporting structure. And I should have thought of that. And mock butler. I think mock must be the definition. Man-made is mock. I suppose, yes, okay, whimsically, you could describe a butler as a male or man type of maid. But it is a bit whimsical. Condemn piece of prose sentence. To sentence someone is to condemn them, literally. And that is a piece of prose. Sax. Keeps ignoring piece of tatty or six. Sticks works better for keeps, but sacks works better for clothing. Socks that, and stocks, that works better for both. So there we go. That's the solution. Not an easy puzzle. Um, some tough ones towards the end there. And what I certainly consider a couple of bits of brilliance, 10 across using IOA for 10 across as part of its clue, and 12 across using that 1 slash 4D. That was absolutely beautiful. So there we go. Today's independent crossword solved. Um, hope that was of some help to you if you're interested in solving cryptics. And uh, as usual, do like the video, um, subscribe to the channel, or sponsor us on Patreon. Thanks very much for watching, and bye for now.